you did this video, it was a very popular video, which was um, how, how to train like a pro climber for 40 days. And so I'm curious now looking back, like what do you think made the most impact? Like what stands out from that experience? So yeah, this, uh, the I train like a pro for 40 days video was a challenge that I sat myself at the beginning of this year um, to follow a, a program for 40 days and see if I got better at climbing but in order to kind of measure that I I um, measured myself on a bunch of strength tests in the beginning and then at the end of the period and yeah I did have some really significant increase uh, specifically in in finger strength um, which I was quite shocked by um, my training history is so little for someone who has been climbing for a really long time so I think I was maybe able to enjoy the increase that I did because it was kind of there already <laughs> but right. I just hadn't it was kind of a bit rusty and dusty and I just kind of needed to blow the cobwebs away but but like the the gains were crazy like I mean it's been a while since I've seen it but you hung a lot more weight on your fingers. You you did like you tripled the amount of pull ups you could do. I could I feel like or or um, in in weighted pull ups. I mean it was like it was pretty impressive jumps. But how did it how did it impact your climbing? You know so like it's it's interesting to measure metrics like oh I could hang ten more pounds or I did four more pull ups. Mm -hmm. But how did that translate to the wall for you? Um. So I mean during the challenge I climbed a long-term project in uh, Fontainebleau, mm, which right. is really difficult to ascribe like cause and effect, but I have tried that boulder many years on the trot and n not been able to get it. And partway through, I d did get it. So there's that. Then I guess my like grade has consistently gone up since January, which is when like those first six weeks of the year were when I completed the challenge. So again, it's like with trying to measure on indoor boulders, I think it's super difficult to, to say that my climbing improved, but on boulders that I had prior experience with that I then went back to try during the challenge and after the challenge had completed, um, I like I'm climbing harder now than I was before climbing it definitely made an impact on my strength mm -hmm. um, and I think that that knowledge alone improved my uh, confidence my willingness to go for things that were a bit harder um, and gave me the kind of like yeah the impetus to try a bit right. harder because you've got in the back of your mind that you're stronger like you've just worked for six weeks on a training plan so you're feeling strong. All right, y'all, just a quick 30 second shout out here for today's sponsor, which is the Crimped app. And I'm telling you, I love Crimped. Long before there was a YouTube channel, I was using Crimped to program my training because it takes the guesswork out of things. We're too busy to worry about this stuff. Open up Crimped, you can either load in a program like a sport plan or a boulder plan, or you can choose from the hundreds of exercises and protocols that they have in there to figure out your week. And at the end of each day and at the end of each week, you get to check them off. You know what's happening. You know what's coming. It will level up your training. I love it so much. Check it out. Hit that link. You can download it for free. All right, let's get back to the interview. What, what stands out from the from the training plan? I think you, you used a crimped plan, uh, which which mm -hmm. I use. Like I program all my my training in, in, in crimped. Um, and I also have a, a playlist, like a workout playlist in crimped for endurance. Shout out. Shout out to my playlist, everybody. Uh, I don't get any money if you use it. <laughs> But it's just there if you want to build endurance. Uh, but, you know, when you look back at that six week time period, were there certain uh, exercises or, you know, protocols that you enjoyed a lot or that you felt maybe correlated to better improvement, you know, things that you might stick with? Like what happens if you actually you trained for 40 days and you sent your proj? Like what if you trained for another 40? Yeah, I think f for me the parts of the plan that I most enjoyed were the things that I could 
like measure by numbers. So I, I really liked watching the number um, in some of my like finger strength tests go up. Um, I made some like really nice gains in like max hang. And I think being able to just like look at a before number and an after number, I find like really motivating. Um, so I think I probably enjoyed, yeah, the things that I could track a progression in um, the most. And then some of the stuff that was more like skill based <laughs> that I couldn't really pin down as like, no, but how much am I improving in this exactly? Um, I, it's not, it's not that I didn't enjoy them, but I think I, I really noticed that I'm actually really motivated by, um, like just watching a number go up. And I really like almost like the gamification of climbing. Like I'm a person that likes to, if, if a gym's got like a app that you can log your climbs in and it'll give you a graph on how many you flashed this month versus how many you flashed the other month and what grade they were like, I really enjoy that, that. <laughs> yeah, totally. um, and I think that's probably what would make me feel like I wanted to follow a training plan because I don't have any kind of like concrete, um, like goals in mind at the moment for my climbing. I've always felt like having a training plan is kind of like, what am I, like, what am I working towards? Is it just going up in a grade? And if so, I'm not hugely motivated by that. Whereas if I can see like that I can hang like a couple of extra kilograms on my right hand side, like for some reason I find that like I want to get to the next level. It totally. is the gamification of it. It's like, I don't know why I want to get to the next level. It might not right. even help my climbing that much. It might just mean that I can hang more on a hangboard, but it feels like I've, like leveled up. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's, that's a very climbery thing is to just kind of get psyched on the numbers. You did a thing with Allison Vest, right? Um, testing, mm. you know, the strongest fingers in the world. So that, that's somebody who gets geeked out on, on, uh, numbers as well and strong fingers. Yeah. That's humbling probably to, to do, to do finger test work next to the strongest fingers in the game. <laughs> yes. I mean, looking back on that filming day, I don't actually remember what I pulled, which I think is probably testament to the fact that it was not very memorable. Whereas what I do remember is Alison pulling the world record, just like it was the most chill, like, oh yeah, just pulled the world record thing. Um, yeah, like, yeah, just very, very cool <laughs> to watch, but also like, it didn't even look like she was trying. <laughs> 